Hi, today's lecture is about the blood flow of the heart. Blood enters the heart from the upper body via the superior vena cava, which brings deoxygenated blood from the upper half of the body into the right atrium. The lower half of the body brings blood via the inferior vena cava into the right atrium. From the right atrium, blood enters to the right ventricle via the tricuspid valve or the AV valve, also called the atrioventricular valve because it's located between the atriums and the ventricles. From the right ventricle, blood is going to the pulmonary trunk via the pulmonary semilunar valve. Here, the pulmonary trunk will split into a left and right pulmonary artery. This is the only place in the body, and that's the heart, where the arteries and the veins are flip-flop. The arteries carry deoxygenated blood and the veins carry oxygenated blood. So once the pulmonary arteries split, they go into the lungs to pick up oxygen. And once we pick up oxygen, blood leaves the lungs and goes back into the heart via the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins now are oxygenated and are located at the left atrium. From the left atrium, we are going through the valve here. It's called the bicuspid valve, also known as the mitral valve, also known as the AV valve or atrioventricular valve and enter the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, we are going to leave the heart and enter the body via the aortic semilunar valve and enter the aortic arch and into the systemic circulation.